Hey, how's it going? Day number four of 100 days of making comics. I'm a little behind, so I'm trying to catch up as best I can. So today, I will be talking about style, a style that I'm going to try to not necessarily replicate, but have, have it be in the same vein. Um, so I just went back and got some examples I'm, I'm a big fan of old school comics. I'm a big fan of old school inks, lines. I like the fact that lines and shadows back in the day really were responsible for the form of a character, the muscle, subject matter. Nowadays, I know that colorists pretty much have a lot of the glory to convey sh like shape and, and form uh, you know like by all the different shades tonalities all, everything that they can do uh, but again I'm old nostalgia always comes up um, the the style always sings to me so I have a couple of examples <clears throat> Not the greatest examples, but some examples to maybe help you realize what I'm talking about. So, here we go. Wolverine number 25, back in the day. Um, the upper image is not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about more or less solid blacks. Minimal lines. If you see a tree right here, you don't need 10,000 lines to see it's a tree. You have a... I don't know, a contour line with some scribbles for texture. That's about it. Same thing with this lower image. You have some hatching, cross hatching, um, but more or less you have solid blacks to help convey the form, what's in shadow, what's not in shadow. Um, you know, Mike McNoll is really good at that. Some, I think like Frank Miller is really good at that as well. Um, like right here, Jim Lee did a pretty good job, except for he had to get some Jim Lee lines going right there. Um, but yeah, this is what I want to try to do. It's it's more or less solid, you know, structure, um, heavy blacks, you know, sparse uh, sparse rendering down here. That's what I want to try to convey. Uh, another example of this, the guy that uses blacks really well. A uh, good combination uh, was Mark Silvestri, the guy that I fell in love. The reason why I fell in love with the Uncanny X-Men uh, was because Mark Silvestri was drawing it back in the day. Um, but I know I'm going to have some structure, not structures, but like some <clears throat> ghosted images and I always find it you know, yeah, you could always go ahead, add a layer, and then drop the opacity and, and all this kind of stuff, you know. But I'm really trying to see if I can't convey the same message just using line. So that's what I want to try to do. I want to try to get away from the quote-unquote cheats that might make it a little bit easier, a little bit faster, maybe a little bit more believable. But I definitely want to uh, try to be able to distinguish a character, you know, a solid character in a panel, and then you have just a ghost, and how you use the tricks uh, to show a spirit and, and a live being. Uh, that's what I want to go ahead and try. Also, I want to work on storytelling. You don't need a lot of words. I'm a fan of words because, again, Mark Silvestri was drawing. At the time, Chris Claremont was writing. Chris Claremont is, to say the least, very, very verbose. He loves the words, but sometimes you don't really need the words, especially if you have a really good artist uh, at story, uh, someone that's really good at telling stories. Um, there we go. So right here, you have eight panels, and you have a beginning, a middle, and an end to a battle. And right here, you don't really need a lot of words. Uh, right here, you don't really have a whole lot of hatching, cross-hatching, or anything like that. You have simple lines, again, simple blacks, uh, a weight of line to actually show the structure, the form uh, of the subject matter. 
Uh, you have sparse carnage here and there, hands flying, um, wires being ripped, a close-up of the eye, and you have the ending of the battle. You know, uh, it's just, to me, that's good storytelling. It's a good example of storytelling. Yeah, it's, it's simple, but at the same time, it's very poetic. Um, so that's what I want to try to do. Uh, maybe not necessarily with this book, because this book, there is going to be a couple splash pages. Um, I'm going to really try not to rely too much on the written word. I really want to kind of convey, um, you know, sadness, despair, uh, hope, surprise, all that, just just through, uh, just through the visual drawing, and just like Mark Silvestri does, just like a lot of you know really good artists do. Um, and that's about it, really. This is day four, and that's it was more or less a study day. It was an inspiration day. It was trying to figure out what direction I want to go into. So, so I hope everyone's uh, stuff is going good. I hope all your comics are doing uh, really well. Give me input. Give me ideas. Uh, ask me or tell me that I'm saying you know too many times or something. Um, that's about it. I hope everyone has a good night and talk to you later.